Hey Libra, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for November 8th through the 14th. As you can see different surroundings, I am on the road traveling yet again, story of my life. But we need to keep the weekly forecasts coming your way. Can't wait on those, so we're going to keep the show going. Show must go on here. Libra, sun, moon, and rising. What is happening for our lovely Libra friends November 8th through the 14th, please? Keep in mind, guys, although I'm setting the intention for the 8th to the 14th, you may stumble upon this video outside of those time frames. Uh, you found it whenever you meant to, whenever it was meant for you to hear the messages. Uh, so keep in mind, these are general readings. Not every message will resonate. Take the ones that do. Leave the ones that don't. Let's see what's coming up here for Libra, Sun, Moon, <clears throat> and Rising. One more shuffle. All right, that feels nice and thoroughly shuffled. Important for me to have thoroughly shuffled cards. First card coming up here for Libra is the Seven of Swords. Now, I know Seven of Swords is a card people don't like to see because it makes them nervous that, you know, somebody has bad intentions towards you or somebody is doing something shifty or shady. And that can be happening for some of you. But I feel for the majority of you guys, Libra, you're the seven of swords. Not in a way that you're shifty or shady or you're doing something bad, but rather that you need to proceed through a situation quietly and cautiously. Okay? You might have some big plans of changes that you're wanting to make or steps that you're wanting to take. And seven of swords can come up to say, take these steps quietly. Take these steps cautiously. Not everybody needs to know what you're up to right now. This is especially true for those of you Libras who are coming out of a very toxic environment and you're on your spiritual path, you're on your spiritual journey, but you feel very alone, like you don't have like-minded people around you, you're waking up, the people around you are still asleep. You might be taking steps that don't make sense to the people in your life. And they might be discouraging you. Not because they don't believe in you, but because they're very limited in their own thinking. They're, they're just very limited in their thinking. They don't think it's possible for anything to get better for anybody. They don't want to see you get hurt. So they're like discouraging you, right? Like, oh, you know, don't do this, don't do that. It's not worth it. Don't waste your time. And Libra, some of you are like, you know what? I'm going to wake them up through my example, right? I have some good things happening, so I'm going to share this good news with them. They're going to see I'm making progress. I'm going to inspire them to change. And so you're like, well, I'm going to tell them, right? Oh, you know, I told you I was starting that business. Oh, I made a sale this week. Or, oh, that place I put in an application for, they called me for an interview. Or, oh, you know what? Things between me and my spouse... We were having a rough patch, but we started to, uh, you know, get some help with our relationship and we had a really big breakthrough this week, right? Or, oh, you know, I've been having a hard time with my kid. We had a really good talk and, you know, we made some progress. So whatever it might be, there might be something you're very excited to share. Like, hey, I'm on the right path. Good things are happening. Things are moving forward. But unfortunately, some of you are around people that they're just going to, poop all over it they're just gonna diminish it they're gonna act like it's not that big of a deal oh well okay well you made a sell this week great you just need a hundred more of those if you're gonna pay rent this month you know or they might say something or do something that really diminishes the progress and it's like here you are with this candle burning you have this beautiful bright flame it's just so beautiful and glowing and mesmerizing and you're so happy it's lighting up your path and you're sharing this light with them and they're just coming in and they're blowing it out so for some of you the seven of swords is you don't have to share this good news with people because they're going to find a way to discourage you, to minimize it, to make it feel like it's not that big of a deal, right? For other ones of you, you're just dying to give somebody a mic drop moment. You're, you're offended and you have every right to be. You just really want to show them that they messed with the wrong person. You really want to like exit a situation in a big way. And Spirit is saying it's not time yet, right? Right? have everything lined up, have everything be official, 
have everything be in writing before you come back and say in your face, right? Make sure everything is done and official before you go and you, you know, tell somebody, you know, to take something and put it where the sun don't shine, you know, because they might be able to interfere. They might be able to hinder uh, the, the changes that you're working towards. So don't get overly excited, you know, and kind of tell people what you're up to just yet. For some of you, Seven of Swords can be asking you to be cautious in a work situation. You might have coworkers who are jealous of you or they're just not very nice people and they may be trying to set you up to fail or do some kind of sabotage. So in a work situation, Seven of Swords for me can be saying, cover your sweet little behind. Make sure that you're documenting your work. Make sure you have things in writing. You might have somebody who comes in and gives you an assignment and they intentionally tell you to do it wrong because they want later for you to get in trouble. And if somebody comes to you and says, Libra, why'd you do it that way? We don't do it this way. Well, so-and-so told me to do it that way. And so-and-so gets called in. Oh, no, Libra, I would never tell you to do it that way. That's not how we do it. I'm sorry if you didn't understand me. I'm sorry if you if you heard wrong, but no, I would never tell you to do that way. When they know dang well they told you to do it that way on purpose. So if somebody comes in and gives you work or asks you to do something, follow it up with an email. Hey, so-and-so, thanks for coming by my desk. Uh, this email is to confirm our conversation that you gave me X, Y, and Z, and you want me to do one, two, and three with it, and you want me to make sure that I do it by this day and this time, right? Like back up the conversation via email so you have confirmation. They might not answer you. They might ignore the email altogether. But later on, if somebody comes to you getting upset with you and you say, well, they told me to do it that way. And they say, no, I didn't, Libra. Well, well here, let me print out the email for you because I'm pretty sure I heard you say that. And I sent you to the email and you never corrected me. You never came back to me and you never told me, no, Libra, that's not what I said. You never told me to do it different. You could have told me then, but you didn't, right? That way you're covering your butt. You're covering your sweet little backside. So in a work situation, make sure that you have things in writing. Make sure that you have things documented. And just make sure that you're covering your butt. Your next card coming up here is the seven of wands and the seven of wands is gonna be here having to do with standing your ground and being careful being cautious now i'm gonna be flat out with you libra you guys know i'm not a negative nancy i'm not here to like fear monger or scare people but i have to tell you uh seven of swords coming up with seven of wands back to back Gives me a sense and a feeling that you do need to be cautious in the coming week, especially because you have people who want to pull you down from where you're at, right? There's a sense of like kind of coming at you here. When seven of wands comes up, people want to be standing where you're standing and they're trying to knock you off the mountain. Now, the good thing is that when you're in the seven of wands position, they can't reach you. The only way they're going to reach you is that if you go back, if you go down to the edge and you start engaging with them, then they can hit you, then they can hook you and pull you back down. So as long as you're not engaging with them, they can't reach you, they can't get to you. So you might have people that are trying to bait you. You might have people that are trying to pull you into disagreements or arguments. Don't give in. Because these are not people that really want to understand why you're doing something. They just want the drama. They just want the distraction. They just want to keep you from where you're headed. Uh, they just want to make you look bad in some way, right? They want to come in and they want to talk all kinds of mess so that you lose your cool, you lose your temper. And then they can say, oh, can you believe what Libra said to me? Oh, can you believe what Libra did? Oh my gosh. Oh, Libra's so mean. Oh, Libra's so, so, such a terrible temper, right? Meanwhile, they've been aggravating you the whole time. It's exactly what they wanted. So when Seven of Wands comes up, do not engage. It's crabs in a bucket. They're trying to grab you and yank you down to their level. 
Seven of Wands to me says keep going. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep going. You're on the right path. Seven being repeated twice here. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, Seven, Seven. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. Your gut knows what you don't have physical evidence for yet because you feel the energy. Your gut has already figured out what you haven't been able to see physically manifest yet, but it's there. It's there. And your gut knows it. Your gut senses it. So listen to your intuition. If something feels off, if something feels shady, listen to that. The next card that's coming up here, Libra, is the Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords tells us truth will be revealed, right? Uh, Seven of Swords is a truth revealing card for me. It's uh, communication, it's agreements, it's like working out the details or coming to like putting a label on things or, or finalizing things. Seven of Swords for me is also a card that comes up when there's clearing happening in the crown chakra. So uh, limited beliefs are being cleared out of the way, false beliefs are being cleared out of the way, um, you're finding solutions where once you saw problems, um, you're finding ways to work more efficiently, you know, working smarter, not harder, that kind of energy, okay? And so there's a sense or an element of getting unstuck with the Ace of Swords, like mentally unstuck, the clearing away of mental blockages. Now, we talked about listening to your intuition, and this ties in for me with the Ace of Swords, I've said this in previous readings, some of you may have heard me say it, over the years reading for people and over the years doing energy work for people, one of the things I've seen happen is a lot of the times, it happens very often, that when somebody is having a clearing in the crown chakra, crown chakra is where we process our thinking and where we process our thoughts, right? So we talked about the limited beliefs and solutions and all that stuff. But the crown chakra is just above the third eye. So one of the things that I've seen happen over the years is a lot of the times when somebody is having clearing in the crown chakra, there's also clearing happening in the third eye. They're separate chakras. But I've just seen over the years that when something is happening with the crown chakra, it tends to activate the third eye. And, 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 and the third eye begins to, you know, move energy or uh, clear out as well. So um, we talked about intuition, right? And then the third eye is going to be the gift of psychic sight or psychic knowing, okay? So intuition is more of what your gut is telling you, right? Like you feel this way, you feel that way. Um, your Your psychic sight or your third eye is going to be more knowing right feeling versus knowing or in some cases seeing seeing visions seeing apparitions seeing spirit so and we're already in a time where the veil is very thin right now because of the time of year that we're in but as we're evolving as we're ascending as we're coming into this new frequency this new energy some people want to call it 5d some people want to call it awakening. Some people want to call it the new renaissance. Whatever you want to call it, we're evolving as a race of people, as a species of humans. We're evolving. And so um, as, as the human race is what I'm trying to say, um, we're, we're evolving. And so for a lot of people, you might begin to tap into that psychic sight. You might begin to see the spirit realm. This can be scary or overwhelming for some people. If it's freaking you out, if it's scaring you, um, you can put boundaries and you can put rules. Again, kind of giving us full circle back to the Ace of Swords, coming up with the terms of a situation or terms of an agreement. Um, I don't like to see spirit. <laughs> I don't. And so I, I, I've set that boundary with spirit. You can talk to me. I, you can make your presence known, but I don't want to be looking at you, right? Depending on the situation. You can set those boundaries. You can set boundaries with spirit on how you want to communicate. But don't be surprised if some of you are beginning to um, have visions or psychic sight, as we call it, um, or to see spirit. Now, 
the next card that's coming up for you guys is the Queen of Wands. Okay, uh, traditionally, in terms of tarot, the court cards a lot of the time can be representative of people coming into a situation. Um, so the Queen of Wands could traditionally be a fire sign person, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. Libra, if you have a fire sign placement, this could be um, that there's changes happening in that area of your life or that aspect of your personality or that aspect of yourself. You're going to have to uh, tap into it or pull upon it in the next stage or phase that you're coming into. Overall, though, the Queen of Wands here, energetically speaking, like, like in terms of energy characteristics or energy coming into a situation, the Queen of Wands is very confident, okay? Very confident, very ambitious, very much the life of the party. Um, she's not intimidated or fearful at all. She knows what she has to offer. She knows what she brings to the surface, and she's not interested in giving discounts. She's not interested in cutting anybody a break, right? She knows her worth, she knows her value, and that's what you're going to give her if you want her to give you her time or her assistance or her help or her effort. But she's still also very likable. She's still also very fun, right? Like I said, life of the party kind of energy. And so some of you are finding that balance of being respected, being taken seriously, but also being seen as someone that people want to be with socially. And a lot of you Libras are going to be finding that balance. Queen of Wands can also sometimes come up for me in my readings when you're being encouraged to embrace your anger. Because Queen of Wands has this aha moment that comes through anger. She gets tired of being passed over for opportunities. She gets tired of being silenced or pushed in the corner or, you know, just keep doing what you're doing and don't complain. Oh, we wish we could give you more. Oh, we wish we could promote you. We wish we could give you a raise, but we can't. Just keep doing what you're doing. We love you, right? They try to uh, appease to the ego and Queen of Wands says, no, mm -mm. I know what I bring to the table. And if you're not going to give me what I deserve, I can very easily go elsewhere and get it. Right There's that energy of uh, going after what you know you deserve. And because you're so fed up, because you're so angry, you're getting it very quickly. Okay, uh, I do feel for some of you with this Queen of Wands situation, you may be shutting down uh, toxic energy or disrespect that's coming to your way um, in, a, in a work situation, but you may be doing it quietly. Okay, like in other words, you're not going to that coworker and you're not saying, I'm going to tell on you, right? Or you're not going to make it obvious that you're speaking to the supervisors. You're not going to tell anybody at work that you're documenting what's happening, that you have a paper trail, that you're going to be turning in to show behaviors or to show inappropriate things. Some of you may be preparing to um, report an employer for unethical practices or unethical treatment of employees, or maybe they're just flat out breaking the law in some kind of way, or violating your rights. You're gonna do this quietly. You're not gonna tell other coworkers what you're doing. You're not gonna go around advertising that you're gonna get something going and try to get a class action lawsuit going. You're going to move quietly. But there's this sense of standing up for yourself and going for what is your right or what you deserve. Some of you are in a situation where you're being cheated out of like a 401k or out of funds or something that were um, uh, un unfairly or unjustly or illegally withheld from your pay. I feel some of you are standing up in that way as well. But again, Spirit is saying you're going to move quietly. You're not going to advertise this, right? Uh, when, when, when an army is invading, they don't, they don't announce that they're on their way, right? It's, it's the element of surprise. The element of surprise is going to work in your favor, right? Or if you're looking for work, you're not going to tell people you're looking for work. I feel that for a lot of you, there's changes that you're making in your income, your work situation, your finances, um, that's opening up 
doors for you uh, to plan for the future or uh, retirement or relocation. Uh, but again, you're going to move quietly and you're not going to tell people what you're up to. Okay. Uh, Queen of Wands can also be a self-employment card for me. So some of you might be preparing for self-employment. Again, that might not be something that you're announcing. That might not be something that you're sharing with coworkers or even friends or family. Uh, you may want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign. Some weeks are going to resonate for you more than your sun sign. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Be well, my dears. Take care.